This morning, my mom told me this dream she had last night. It started off ordinary enough. She was staying up late reading when she suddenly heard rustling noises. They were coming from this small cardboard box near the stove. She noticed the bubble wrap packing material inside was shaking. Thinking that there was a rat moving around inside, she started hitting the packaging material with heavy objects, trying to squash the pesky varmint. Well, then I came in, apparently woken up from a deep night's sleep by all the racket that was going on. Then I asked her what she was doing, and she told me she was trying to kill a rat. When she lifted up the bubble wrap to show me, lo and behold, it wasn't a rat at all. It was a cute little bunny. My mom was horrified at what she'd done, and I was too. I was screaming and crying my eyes out. However, the bunny was okay, apparently saved from heavy bombardment by the thick, cushiony bubble wrap. Anyway, my mom let me keep it, and I took it to bed with me. My mom also went to bed and then woke up, but she heard me screaming. Well, she ran into my room, and I told her the rabbit turned into a black cat. She looked, and there was a big black cat near my pillow. However, instead of being freaked out herself, my mom calmly reassured me it was still cute looking and went back to bed again. It was about midnight when she was jolted out of sleep a third time by my shrill screams. When she rushed into my room and turned on the light, I said, The cat! The cat turned into a big black rat! She looked and, sure enough, there was a monstrously huge black rat crouching next to my pillow. I already posted this elsewhere because it took me so long to find this subreddit and because it's been weighing on my heart. I have only been able to tell my sister, I'll call her Michelle, because she gets dreams like this too. I really wish this was something I could put on no sleep. Believe what you want, but to me, this is 100% real. For the past 10 years or so, I've been having some dreams that partially or totally end up happening in real life. At first, they were silly, trivial things. The first one I had was back in early 2007. I was just finishing up middle school and my sisters and I were semi-obsessed with Disney Channel shows. My dream was a harmless, hanging out with celebrities dream. That particular dream featured the Sprouse twins from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. In the dream, I walked into a room where they were wearing fake muscle suits, one in red and one in blue, and flexing in the mirror. I was confused and asked, what are you guys doing? They whirled around and quickly replied, Nothing. A couple months or so later, an episode came out where they became superheroes in red and blue muscle suits. Unfortunately, I hadn't taken to writing down my dreams until after this incident, so I don't have any proof that I dreamt it before it happened. Another one was a vague dream about spending the day with a guy, walking around, talking, and having fun. I didn't remember his face when I woke up, but I remembered his hair. He had a very pronounced cowlick at his forehead. I also remembered how it felt to hug him at the end, and how real it all felt. Literally two or three months later, I ran into a friend of mine at a local amusement park. We were both there for school field trips, but for completely different purposes, and from schools three hours apart. I ended up hanging out with him for the whole trip until I had to leave. When I hugged him goodbye, my dream flashed into my mind. This trip was exactly the same as my dream, down to his hair and the hug. On the bus ride home, I stared out the window in shock. This one is documented in my journals, and I still get goosebumps when I think of it. These dreams took a turn for the unexpectedly dark sometime later. My sisters, Michelle and Lizzie, and I, made friends with two English kids through a writing website Lizzie and I used. These two kids were really goofy and funny, and after talking to them for a while, they told us that one of them, I'll call him Mike, had cancer and he was in remission. A while later, they revealed the cancer was back, but Mike was going in for treatment again. Q, the dream. I dreamt that we, my sisters and I, went to visit them across the pond. I hung back with Mike's mom while everyone else played in the yard. I asked her about Mike and how he was doing. Quietly, she told me that this time, the cancer was terminal. He wouldn't make it. 
We got the same news in real life a couple of months after that. He and Lizzie were really good friends, and she took it hard. I think she still writes Dear Mike at the beginning of her journal entries, and it's been almost six years. I've started to recognize the dreams that are potentially real, and I had one two nights ago. In the dream, a friend of mine was crying. At first, I didn't know why, and she didn't tell me, but then I realized her baby bump was gone. She'd lost her child. I hugged her tightly for a long time before I woke up. Right now, my friend is five months pregnant and due in July. I'm praying that I'm wrong about this dream. First off, I'd like to mention that these are experiences I had many years ago and they were all in dreams. So there's a large chance that not all I remember is completely true, but this is how I remember them happening. Secondly, I'd like to say that the last dream I had in the first story was when I was 9 or 8 and I'm 14 now, so once again, there's a definite portion of that that is true, but I'm not sure what really happened and what my memory is messing up. Thirdly, these are three separate experiences, but I can't help but feel that they're all combined in some way. These dreams started when I was only about six, and they were normally short, strange scenes of me waking up in my room. There was always some gruesome, monstrous creature, always looking different at the beginning. They would either scream, roar, or just completely attack me, and I'd wake up in a cold sweat. As I got older, the dreams got longer, diving more in depth into the story. The first change I remember is sometimes I'd see the creature get to me, and I'd wake up with a weird pain in my chest. Other times, however, I'd escape it, and before anything else would happen, I'd wake up. Every month or so this went on, the dreams would get longer, and the monstrous creatures would always get more gruesome and more scary. One time, I ended up escaping the monster and making it to my basement for safety. After the one time this occurred, it would always be me running into the basement for safety. I would run into the laundry room and my mom would lock the door with me and my sister inside, but the door wasn't able to hold it. I remember seeing these bloodied claws ripping through the thick wooden doors and my mom flipping out, sending me and my sister to hide. After we hid, there'd be a loud scream followed by silence. Every once in a while, it would find me. And each time the dream occurred, it was like the creature was learning and understanding how I thought, because it would occur more often. The gruesome creature would sometimes eat my sister in front of me, only to force me to wake up after, and other times, it would torture me, waking me only after it seemed satisfied. These dreams occurred through a three-year period, happening about one time a week, maybe two or maybe down to one time a month at some points. The last time I ever had a dream like this, it was the same exact thing, except this time, when it came to take either me or my sister, I stood up to it. I remember its beady red eyes glaring at me, and its smile with sharp, bloody teeth, as if it were enjoying this. It was about seven feet tall and had razor-sharp claws, and its body was fat and covered in matted brown fur. The creature laughed, and to this day, it is still one of the most sinister things I think I've ever heard. I had terrible anger issues back then, and I was about to scream my head off at this. I looked it dead in the eyes and screamed at it to go away, and then I woke up. These dreams never occurred again. The next strange experience was when I was a bit older, maybe 10 or 11. I woke up from a normal sleep, but I didn't feel awake. I think it might have been sleep paralysis, but I'm not sure, because I've never experienced this. I felt a cold tap on my hand, and I had a shiver roll down my spine. Wanting to see what tapped my finger, I rolled my head over. I saw an 8-foot tall shadow crouched over me, with long fingers extending. I tried to scream and move, but I couldn't make a noise. I shut my eyes and held them shut, and that's where I think I fell asleep. I don't remember anything from after I shut my eyes, so 
that's where that part ends. The last experience I had was when I was 12. I fell asleep like an ordinary night, but then my dream started. I think it was an out-of-body experience, but again, I'm not sure. I was standing in my room, but I saw myself in my bed, sleeping. I was confused and looked around my room. There were some weird looming shadows, and when I looked back at my body, something was lifting me up. I don't completely remember what it was, but I do remember seeing it carry me over its shoulder into my living room. I followed it, and I saw it throw my body onto the couch, and that's when I moved towards myself, only to wake up in that exact spot I had seen myself in, in my dream. I have no clue how I got there, or what happened during that dream. These are three of the scariest things I have ever had happened to me.